What is up guys? Welcome again to my channel. On this video I'm going to focus again on flexibility but it's going to be different from last video. So last video was a flexibility routine that you can follow along and do several times per, per week, maybe every single day. The video was a little fast, I know that. Next time it's going to be a real time so you guys can follow along with me. But this video is going to be a little bit different in a sense that I'm gonna be showing you seven stretches, my top seven stretches that I think everyone should or must actually be doing every single day. These seven stretches are some stretches that you can incorporate in your flexibility routine, but these are more stretches that you wanna be doing throughout the course of the day because we fall into many positions that close our body up, such as sitting, the rounding of our shoulders, when we laying down, when, when we sleep for eight hours. After that, you need to move your body, you need to open up your body, and the more open your body is going to be, the better you're gonna feel mentally and, and physically. So, I wanna start uh, teaching you guys flexibility in a very basic way from the ground up and we start building up with uh, short routines, then more intermediate routines and then more advanced routines. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because these seven stretches, I do it every single day, whenever I remember or whenever I feel the need to. I'm gonna explain why on each of the stretches and I hope you guys do the stretches as well and you get a taste of what flexibility is like, that you don't need to spend one hour, two hours flexibility uh, uh, on a flexibility routine per day. You can just be stretching throughout the day and keeping your body open at all times. So without further ado, let's get right into the seven stretches. The first one is going to be a seated spinal twist. So any spinal twist will do, but the reason I chose this stretch and I do it several times per day is because our spinal, our spine, we need to keep it healthy. And the way to keep it healthy is to move it on different uh, directions. That's why we fall forward, we back bend, but we also rotate. And that rotation is super important for your the health of your spine, as well as gonna help you with digestion and like stomach pain, just because you are twisting your body and you, you are getting into those deep organs within your stomach. So that's the first one, so as soon as you get up or before you're going to bed or throughout the course of the day, please take a moment to sit down, it takes a couple seconds, twist to one side, twist to the other side, exhale when you go to the right and exhale when you go to the left. Which brings me to the second stretch which is going to be a hands behind the back shoulder opener or chest opener as well with some neck flexion and neck extension so this is like a pretty advanced stretch in in a sense that it's a combination of stretches but let me break it down for you so you're gonna grab your hands behind your back you're gonna send your shoulders back and down and you're gonna open your chest as much as possible while sending your hands down at the same time you also want to add for your neck you want to add some side flexion diagonal and some extension and the reason we're opening your chest is because the same reason I just mentioned that we do so many things close enough we sit down even when we're walking our shoulders are tend to round forward and when we're sitting eating we're always rounding forward so we need something to contrarrest that that's why we are opening our chest we're expanding or doing like a kind of a, like a back bending on, on the back then the next one is going to be really similar, maybe more advanced. It's also going to target the opening of your chest and that's a semi-back bend, a standing semi-back bend. So back bend is about lifting your chest and breaking from the middle back, not from your lower back. You're going to place your hands on your lower back to protect it, bring your chest up and do a slight back bend opening up your chest. Now if you want to take it one step further, bring your hands up and bring your hips forward to open up your chest even more, even more. And then, if you want to add more, I'm going to add some side flexion to this. So you're opening your chest, opening those shoulders, then bringing to one side flexion instead of rotation, and then flexion to the other side. What this is going to do is stretch all the side body 
from the left and all the side body from the right in a flexion status. So the twist was more of a rotation, this one we're getting more into flexion because our abdomen, our, our core specifically, tends to get super tight and we're gonna make sure that we're opening it as well as our chest and as well as our shoulders. The fourth stretch is going to be complete opposite from what we're doing right now, which is back bending, and then we're going to start doing forward folding. So you can either open up, like I said, uh, back bending, or you can forward fold. So the next one is going to be great for your hamstrings, as well as for your, for your low back, for your upper back, because you're stretching all the entire back of your body. So you can do it seated down, you can do it standing up, but it takes just five minutes and you just you put your feet shoulder width apart, you start folding with your back straight, and then you round your spine. Also, you can get your hands to your shin, maybe to your foot, or maybe to the floor, and just relax there. Stretching your hamstrings is super, super important because you're gonna need that flexibility for advanced movements such as the handstand press and any Really any handsome variation or handsome press is gonna require that you have flexible hamstrings. It's not per se an obligation to have flexible hamstrings, but the more flexible your hamstrings are, the easier your hands are gonna to touch the floor and the easier it's going to be for you to press into a strider handstand. So definitely work on your hamstrings every single day. So the next one is another forward fold that you can do it seated down. So you can be working at home, you can be at work on your computer, and whenever you feel that your hips start getting super tight, which they do, you are basically flexing your spine and flexing your hip flexors for, for hours on end, sometimes hours without waking, getting up. So next time you do that, sit down, put a timer, maybe 50 minutes, work for like 50 minutes straight, and then do some stretches to contrast that and stretch your hip flexors. For this stretch, you wanna be sitting down, you wanna cross one leg over, create, creating like a 90 degree angle with your legs and your shin. And from there, you're gonna fall forward, sucking your belly in, and you're gonna feel the stretch right on the leg that you have, you, you have folding, right on the leg that you're folding on the outer part of the hip. Do one side and then do the other side, just a couple seconds on each side should be enough. Then the next one is definitely one of my favorite, and it's definitely something that I do at least 10 times per day which is squatting a low squat so I just go into a low squat and I sit there not a lot of people can get into this position easily so the modification I'm going to do is put something beneath your heels and that's gonna elevate you a little bit and it's gonna make, gonna make it easier so start by holding that and eventually start make start giving a smaller surface smaller surface until you can put your foot right flat on the ground. Coming to a low squat really forces those joints to adapt and to become more stronger. Which brings me to the last stretch, which, which is the complete opposite from the squat. So the squat compresses all the joints together and it makes, makes you in that little ball. Uh, the next one is going to be a dead hang. You need uh, something to basically grab and, and hang, it can be a pull bar, it can be the door frame of your, of your house. This doesn't have to be done every single day, I recommend for you to do it one day yes, one day no, especially if you are not doing any type of pulling motion. So this is completely different from the squat in a sense that you are elongating your body completely. So first you were compressing, now you are letting gravity stretch your entire muscles. So you don't want to be doing an active hang where you put your hands down you actually want to relax completely into the stretch put your head down and let gravity do the work brings you down feeling heavy and make sure all those joints are decompressing your spine is decompressing your wrist is getting a break uh, everything basically so there you have it guys those are my top seven stretches that you should be doing every single day to keep your body open to keep your body healthy so tomorrow remember maybe not go through seven through the seven stretches, but choose one, choose two, and try to do it throughout the course of the day, and you're gonna feel that it's gonna become a habit, and you're gonna start seeing flexibility in a different way. So it's not about spending one hour on a flexibility routine, it's just gonna come after, but start slow. Start by, by stretching on little moments throughout the day, keeping your body open, keeping your body ready to do any task that you may have to do during the day. Wake up, do a spinal twist, if you're walking too much, 
take your time and go to a squat and hold it for time. If you are sitting for too long, your, your shoulders are closing, make sure you grab your back, make sure you keep that, that chest open and ready, ready for the day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up and please let me know in the comment section what else do you want to see on this channel and I'll do my best to cover it in the future. Thank you.